Some of the best scary movies involve child actors. These young stars bring a level of creepiness to horror films that makes their skin crawl. But have you ever wondered what the children in popular scary movies look like today? If so, you've come to the right place. These kids may have scared the bejesus out of us in their respective films, but you'll be shocked to see how they really look. Keep watching to check out the amazing transformation of actor Miko Hughes, who played Gage in Pet Cemetery. You don't want to miss it. If this is your first time visiting our channel, don't forget to subscribe and please give this video a big thumbs up. Today we'll be showing you 10 kids from horror movies you won't recognize. Haley Joel Osment Haley Joel Osment became a prominent figure in film and pop culture history when he whispered these four words. I see dead people. Just that line alone sent chills down our spine. In the 1999 film The Sixth Sense, the child actor played the role of Cole Sear, a boy who was able to communicate with spooky spirits. It was his wide and expressive eyes and his adorable looks that made moviegoers fall in love with him despite his eerie on-screen presence. People may not know him by name, but they recognize his face right away. But now that he's an adult, Haley not only looks different, but he looks completely unrecognizable. We wouldn't be surprised if people didn't even recognize him while he was out and about. We guess that could be a good thing if he ever decides to live his life away from the spotlight. He won't have to worry about people running up to him and asking to take pictures with him. This side-by-side -side photo of him from The Sixth Sense and what he looks like as an adult really shows just how much he has changed throughout the years. His boyish good looks are long gone. However, they've been replaced with his new scruffy and rugged appearance. Haley is now a handsome young man, and we can't believe how much his physical appearance has changed. These days, he might not be scaring the living daylights out of us, but he's still acting and making small appearances in TV shows and movies. Seamus Davy Fitzpatrick in 2006, the world was spooked out by character Damien in the remake of the classic film The Omen. The young actor who played the creepy character was none other than Seamus Davy Fitzpatrick. If you've never seen the film, we'll give you a brief breakdown. The character Damien was adopted into a family, and soon enough, weird things started to happen around the child. With a series of terrible events unfolding on screen, Damien remained calm throughout it all. But it was his piercing eyes and his sinister smile that gave moviegoers the shivers. And this is why this character is so memorable. At the time, the child actor Seamus wasn't even old enough to watch an R-rated movie, but he alone made The Omen one of the most memorable horror films of all time. Are you ready to see what he looks like now? Well, here he is. He has grown up to be a very dapper young man, don't you think? Away from the dark and creepy setting of The Omen, Seamus looks pretty normal if you ask us. There's absolutely nothing scary about the way he looks these days, but we know for sure we wouldn't recognize him at all if he approached us because he looks nothing like his terrifying character. These days, he's still involved in the entertainment industry, and he even appeared in the 2017 film The Dinner as the character Rick Lohman. Louise and Lisa Burns Back in 1980, long before most of you were born, a horror movie called The Shining was released. The film starred legendary actor Jack Nicholson, who played the character Jack Torrance. In the movie, Jack interviewed for a job at a hotel, and he later discovered that the same hotel was built on top of an Indian burial ground. As we're sure you can imagine, a bunch of creepy and scary things started to happen throughout the movie. Jack's son Danny had a scary premonition about the hotel. He even came face to face with a set of twin ghosts wearing matching blue dresses who tried to convince him to go and play with them forever. Are you scared yet? If not, you will be after you see this iconic image of the twins from the film. Just check out how spooky they looked. Can you imagine getting approached by not one but two ghosts? Yeah, neither can we. The twins were played by child actor Louise and Lisa Burns. They only appeared briefly in the film, but when people think of The Shining, they instantly think of them. Their monotone voices and lifeless facial expressions still give us the creeps to this day. But in real life, the twins are anything from frightening. In fact, they look like regular women. After the film wrapped, they never appeared in another movie, but they still make time to meet up with their die-hard fans at horror film conventions. Junio June Valverde have you ever seen a horror film that was so scary it gave you nightmares for weeks on end? That's what happened to us when we watched the 2001 film The Devil's Backbone. In the movie, the main characters opened a small orphanage in a remote part of Spain. A young boy named Carlos arrived at the orphanage and came in contact with a boy named Santi. But this is where things got super creepy. Santi was actually a ghost. 
In the film, Santi's skin was a pale shade and he had noticeable scars and cuts all over his body. We've never seen a ghost in real life before, but we'd imagine it would look a lot like Santi. The role of the ghost was played by a child actor named Junio June Valverde. We think he did an excellent job at rattling our nerves with his ghoulish and terrifying appearance. But check out what June looks like now. Without all the pale body makeup and the abrasions on his skin, he looks a lot different. It's almost like night and day. Because of all the makeup he was forced to wear in the film, we're pretty sure June doesn't have any problems maintaining a low-key lifestyle. But now that you know what he looks like today, we guess we've just blown his cover. Sorry, June. Emily Browning Back in 2002, the world was introduced to the horror film Ghost Ship. Emily Browning played the character Katie Harwood, the lone survivor of a terrible boating accident that occurred on an Italian ship. Decades later, a crew of sailors discovered the abandoned ship in the water, and they decided to try to bring it into the port. They also discovered a bunch of gold inside, and they wanted to stake their claim. But the ghost from the tragic boat accident that occurred 40 years before wasn't going to make it easy for them. While filming, Emily was still a very young girl, but check her out now. She was beautiful when the movie debuted back in 2002, but she's even more lovely these days. Now that she's all grown up, her face has matured to the point where she's almost unrecognizable. After appearing in Ghost Ship, Emily went from being the star in a creepy, scary movie to landing gigs in Sleeping Beauty and the TV series American Gods. And one of our favorite movies, Twilight, would have been a lot different if Emily had agreed to be involved in the project. She was invited to audition for the role of Bella, but her schedule was just way too busy, so she was forced to pass on the audition. But it's okay, because her career after Ghost Ship has managed to be quite impressive either way. Miko Hughes one of the most iconic scary movies of all time is the 1989 film Pet Cemetery. The movie, which was an adaptation of a Stephen King novel, is perhaps one of the creepiest movies ever made. It's all about the Creed family who moves into a new home. Their neighbors tell them about a pet cemetery nearby, but they don't pay too much attention to it. The pet cemetery later becomes the burial grounds for a young boy named Gage who is tragically injured when he gets run over by a truck. But Gage's role in the film was far from over. He returned from the dead only to wreak havoc on anyone who got in his way. The character was played by Miko Hughes, who was an adorable little toddler at the time. Seriously, just look at this picture of him from the film. Don't you just want to pinch those cheeks? Aside from the fact that he played an absolute terror in the movie, Miko was still pretty darn cute when he wasn't spazzing out and acting all demonic on screen. And here's what the child actor looks like now. Of course, he looks a lot different because he's decades older, but we never thought he would look like this as an adult. Some people still have hints of features from their childhood in their appearance, but not Miko. He almost looks like a completely different person, don't you agree? David Dorfman Naomi Watts and Martin Henderson may have been the stars of the 2002 film The Ring, but child actor David Dorfman definitely stole the show. The film was a remake of a 1989 Japanese horror film about a cursed videotape that contained some random and disturbing images. Everyone who watched the tape met a tragic fate, and to save himself from impending doom, Aiden was instructed to make a copy of the videotape and show it to someone else to free himself from the curse. In the film, he was distraught because his cousin Katie was one of the first to watch the film and meet her untimely. Death. His character always had a very sad look on his face, with sunken in eyes from all the stress the tape was causing. It's pretty obvious the filmmaker wanted the character to look as creepy as possible, and they did a good job at it. After appearing in The Ring and its sequel, David decided to leave Hollywood behind and further his education. He graduated at the top of his class at Harvard Law at the age of 21, and he landed a sweet job in Washington, D.C. as an attorney. Even though he could have continued to freak us out by appearing in even more horror films, she never sleeps. He knew that obtaining his degree was a goal in life that he wanted to fulfill. But we're sure Hollywood would welcome him back with open arms if he ever felt like giving acting a shot again. Lindsay Hahn have these transformations of some of the most popular child stars in horror films shocked you yet? If not, keep watching because this next one will definitely surprise you. Back in 1995, the world was buzzing about the disturbing and sinister scary movie Village of the Damned. This film was all about a group of creepy children who had strong psychic energies that allowed them to control minds. Also, they never hesitated to get revenge on those who did them wrong. Because of this, the film was very gruesome and quite inappropriate for young kids. But despite its gory content, 
content, the film employed a bunch of child stars. They effortlessly played the role of the eerie group of kids who were ruthless and very dangerous. The group of children was led by the talented actress Lindsay Hahn. You probably remember her in the film because she was usually front and center in the group. She wore a platinum blonde wig with the blunt cut bangs and will never forget her glowing, menacing eyes. Are you ready to see what she looks like now? Well, here she is. Her platinum blonde wig is long gone. There's nothing creepy about her real appearance. If anything, she looks like the girl next door, which is a huge difference from the frightening character she played in legendary film. Jodel Furland when it comes to making the perfect horror film, the more terrifying the characters look, the better. The main goal for these films is to make us jump out of our seats and leave the theater with our hearts pounding with fright. Movie makers succeeded in giving us goosebumps when they released the 2006 film Silent Hill. Actress Jodell Furlan played the role of Sharon, an adopted girl who led her family to the abandoned town of Silent Hill. But in a surprising twist, the actress also played the character Alessa, a dark and haunting figure who is a resident of Silent Hill. Even as the character Sharon, the child actress had a very eerie presence. And as Alessa, she was even scarier. Alessa was dressed in dark clothing, her hair was a stringy, matted mess, and she had pale skin with red circles around her eyes. It's really hard to imagine what the actress who played these characters look like today. But trust us, you're about to be shocked. Take a look at how beautiful she is now. Her hair is still pretty dark, but there's nothing disturbing about how the actress looks in real life. She has left the rags from Silent Hill in the past, and instead, she dresses up in the finest clothes when she hits Hollywood's red carpet. Davy Chase We've saved the best transformation for last. Davy Chase is another child actress who appeared in The Ring and its sequel, but her transformation is a lot more shocking than her co-stars. Davy played the character Samara Morgan. You probably remember Samara as the girl who fell into a nearby well and eventually perished after being trapped for seven days. But she returned as a vengeful and dangerous ghost, created the cursed videotape, and destroyed anyone who watched it. The character had long dark hair that covered her face. But in a few scenes, we caught a glimpse of her eyes, and let's just say her appearance was scary enough to to make us all scream and run for the hills. But would you believe us if we told you Davy looks nothing like her The Ring character? Yep, it's true. Not only does she look completely different, but she's actually quite beautiful. Here's a picture of what the actress looks like in real life. You're probably asking yourself, is this even the same person? And believe us, it is. This is the same girl who crawled out of the TV screen on The Ring. But these days, she looks like she should be on the cover of a beauty magazine rather than scaring the pants off of an entire fictional town. In her everyday life, her hair is a far cry from the dark and greasy locks she had in the film. Now, if you're not too scared from reliving some of the best horror films ever made, why not leave us a comment down below? We'd love to hear which of these child stars' transformations surprised you the most. Thank you for watching this video. We hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to check out our friends at The Trendy to see more cool videos for teenagers.